We're standing here with Axel Stoiber. And what do you do? I work for the ESS. Uh, I've been working there for three years and I do industrial liaison, user liaison and I work in the general science section of the ESS. Uh, and what will you speak about here today? Today I will speak about how neutrons and synchrotrons to some extent uh, can benefit industry. Uh, and with industry I mean their industrial R&D research. So for the last 12 years I've been working uh, in the field of material science uh, using neutron and synchrotron characterization techniques to study materials and that's from fundamental materials up to applied engineering materials working with large companies. And what uh, business uh, proposals or solutions do you see in Lund and, and the ESS? Yeah. From an industrial R&D perspective, there's tremendous potential for, uh, for industrial R&D here in, in Lund at uh, both facilities. They will be world leading, which means you can do things that you cannot do anywhere else. Uh, and To give you an example, traditionally I've been working with uh, aerospace companies, with power companies, working on structural integrity. Uh, I've been working with petrochemical uh, companies, understanding catalytic, catalytic uh, processes and trying to understand on a molecular atomic level how these catalysts work. And for this, neutrons and synchrotrons are very, very good because they allow you to study these processes and these materials in uh, realistic uh, environments. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about new materials and new products that will come out from the ESS and, and Max 4. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, any any uh, uh, anything about that? Yes. Well, the, the the two facilities actually provide. They're, they're like a microscope. They're um, they use neutron and synchrotron light, um, neutron radiation to uh, to look what what's happening inside the material. So it's not that we are developing materials within the ESS or. Uh, It's more that the researchers from all over the world will come to the facility to use the instruments, these microscopes, to look at novel materials. And this is, they, they can study processes and materials uh, which they can't do anywhere else. That's uh, what's the novelty about the ESS. And when they have studied all this, what, what will happen then? Well, the research will go on for uh, for quite a long time in the future. There will be new needs and new demands, uh, better materials. There's always room for improvement. How do you think uh, the society and uh, the companies can make benefits from this research? Well, as I say, they, they gain insight into materials uh, on a level that they can't do with uh, traditional methods, with methods that they use in the laboratories and so on. So they have, if they use these tools, they have the competitive advantage, if you want, that they have, they know something about materials which other people and other companies, for example, don't know. So they can optimize processes, they can optimize materials, they can develop techniques, technology, and that's, that feeds in, into the whole R&D scheme. Do you think this will be on a global scale or how do you think uh, regional companies can make benefits from this? Well, it's up to the companies here to realize uh, the potential of the of the ESS and MaxLab. Of course, there will be European facilities. Uh, ESS will be European facility, uh, and, but the reach of the of the facilities will be worldwide because they will be the best in their class, and so it's uh, uh, you will have scientists coming from all over the world to learn to, to study materials. Thank you.